Bob McAdoo. Bob McAdoo, whose real name is Robert Allen McAdoo Jr., born on September 25, 1951, is a retired American professional basketball player and coach. Over a span of 14 seasons in the National Basketball Association, NBA, he earned five NBA All-Star selections and was honored as the NBA Most Valuable Player, MVP, in 1975. McAdoo achieved success with the Los Angeles Lakers, contributing to their two NBA championships during the Showtime era in the 1980s. Recognizing his impact on the sport, he was inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 2000 and later named to the NBA 75th anniversary team in 2021. Net Worth and House Bob McAdoo has an estimated net worth of $30 million. This impressive sum is from his successful NBA career, endorsements, and business fortunes. Additionally, McAdoo owns a mansion worth million in Boca Raton, Florida, where he lives with his wife, Patricia, and their son, Ryan. Early Life Bob McAdoo grew up in Greensboro, North Carolina, with his mother, Vandalia, working as a teacher at his elementary school, and his father, Robert, serving as a custodian at North Carolina A&T University. His educational journey took place at Ben L. Smith High School, where he not only excelled in basketball and track, but also showcased his musical talent as a saxophone player in the marching band. During his senior year, McAdoo played a pivotal role in guiding Smith to the state basketball semifinals. Simultaneously, he made significant contributions to the state track tournament, setting a new high jump record of 6 feet 7 inches. In this achievement, he outperformed his future North Carolina teammate, Bobby Jones. Personal Life In 2009, McAdoo experienced a significant event in his personal life. His initial marriage to Charlena concluded tragically in 1991 due to her battle with cancer. Together, they raised four children, Robert III, Russell, and Rita reside in New Jersey, while their other son, Ross, has made his home in Alaska. Currently, McAdoo and his second wife, Patricia, whom he encountered during his professional stint in Italy, reside in Boca Raton, Florida. The couple has been blessed with two children. Their daughter, Rashida, achieved graduation from Georgia Tech, where she not only played tennis but also qualified for the 2017 NCAA Singles Championship. She has since pursued a career in professional tennis. On the other hand, their son Ryan is currently engaged in collegiate basketball at the University of North Carolina. In 2010, McAdoo actively participated in the Basketball Without Borders program in Singapore, dedicated to leveraging sports for positive social change in areas such as education, health, and wellness. His involvement in such programs extends to his participation in Beijing in 2009 and the NBA Legends Tour to South Africa in 1993, which aimed to promote goodwill and the NBA on a global scale. Additionally, McAdoo served as the basketball technical advisor for the 1993 film, The Air Up There, starring Kevin Bacon. A health setback occurred in 2012 when McAdoo underwent treatment for a blood clot in his leg. Notably, his familial connections extend to his second cousin, Ronnie McAdoo, whose son James Michael McAdoo also pursued a basketball career, playing for the Tar Heels before turning professional in 2014. In 2013, former NFL player Ephraim Salam disclosed that he is McAdoo's nephew. College Career Upon graduating from high school, McAdoo faced initial challenges with meeting the academic test score requirements for Division I schools. Consequently, he opted to attend Vincennes University, a junior college in Vincennes, Indiana, from 1969 to 1971. McAdoo's time at Vincennes was marked by success, as the team secured the NJCAA Men's Division I Basketball Championship in 1970, with McAdoo contributing 27 points in the championship game. During his sophomore year, he earned recognition as a junior college All-American. Transitioning to the University of North Carolina, UNC, in 1971, McAdoo became the sole junior college player recruited by coach Dean Smith during his career. Teaming up with Bobby Jones, McAdoo played a pivotal role in leading the 1971-72 Tar Heels to a 26-5 record in the Final Four of the 1972 NCAA University Division Basketball Tournament. 
He excelled individually, averaging 19.5 points and 10.1 rebounds, earning him first-team All-American honors and the MVP title at the ACC tournament. Amid family challenges, McAdoo sought early eligibility for the 1972 NBA draft under the hardship clause, a process supported by coach Dean Smith. Despite initial reservations from his mother, McAdoo received encouragement from both his father and Coach Smith to pursue the opportunity, emphasizing the financial benefits for his family. Professional Career Bob McAdoo's professional journey began when he played for the Buffalo Braves in 1972 after seeking and winning early eligibility in the 1972 NBA Draft. Despite rumors of signing with the Virginia Squires in the ABA, McAdoo was eventually selected as the number two overall pick by the Buffalo Braves. He quickly became a standout player, winning the 1973 NBA Rookie of the Year award and securing three consecutive NBA scoring titles in his first seasons. While frustrated with Buffalo's initial struggles, McAdoo's second season was remarkable, making him the last NBA player to average 30.0 points and 15.0 rebounds per game. In 1974-75, he was awarded the NBA Most Valuable Player Award. Despite individual success, the Braves faced playoff challenges. In 1976, McAdoo was traded to the New York Knicks, where he played alongside notable teammates like Walt Frazier and Earl Monroe. Despite individual achievements, the Knicks faced playoff disappointments. McAdoo was later traded to the Boston Celtics and subsequently to the Detroit Pistons. McAdoo's time with the Pistons was brief and he was waived in 1981 after a dispute with the coach. He then joined the New Jersey Nets and later found success with the Los Angeles Lakers, winning NBA titles in 1982 and 1985 as a key reserve. McAdoo's selfless sacrifice for the team was evident, even if it meant coming off the bench. After his Lakers tenure, McAdoo briefly played for the Philadelphia 76ers in 1986, marking the end of his NBA career. His career totals include 18,787 points, with averages of 22.1 points, 9.4 rebounds, 2.3 assists, 1.5 blocks, and 1.0 steal per game in 852 games. Post-NBA, McAdoo played in Italy, notably with Olympia Milano, achieving success in the Euro League and various Italian competitions. He retired from professional basketball in 1992 at the age of 41. Throughout his career, McAdoo displayed versatility and skill, leaving a lasting impact on both the NBA and European basketball. Coaching Career Since 1995, Bob McAdoo has dedicated 25 years to the Miami Heat organization. During this period, he served as an assistant coach for 19 seasons, collaborating with coaching figures like Pat Riley, 1995-2003, 2005-2008, Stan Van Gundy, 2003-2005, and Eric Spolstra, 2008-2013, contributing to the team's success with three NBA championships. In the last five seasons, McAdoo transitioned to a role as a scout and community liaison for the Miami Heat. McAdoo's association with the Heat began when Pat Riley, his former coach during two championship seasons with the Lakers in the 1980s, assumed the role of head coach and GM for the Heat in 1995. Riley promptly invited McAdoo to join the coaching staff, marking the start of his impactful journey with the Heat organization. Accolades in 1993, McAdoo gained entry into the North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame. He became a part of the Greater Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame in 1995. McAdoo's record for the Braves slash Clippers still stands for the highest minutes played per game, 40.1, field goals made per game, 11.1, and field goal attempts per game, 22.1. In the year 2000, McAdoo was immortalized in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. His recognition continued in 2006 when he was inducted into the College Basketball Hall of Fame. Acknowledging his contributions, McAdoo was included in the 50 Greatest EuroLeague Contributors in 2008. In 2013, Olympia Milano Hall of Fame welcomed McAdoo. In 2016, Ben L. Smith High School, Guilford County School District, dedicated its gymnasium to McAdoo. 
Additionally, the University of North Carolina honored McAdoo, along with seven others, in 2019, featuring them on a banner showcasing UNC alumni elected to the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. McAdoo is a proud member of the Guilford County Sports Hall of Fame. His legacy was further cemented in 2021 when McAdoo was elected to the NBA 75th anniversary team. And with that, thanks for watching. Give us a like, share with your friends, and please subscribe.